Hi, Dan from EV Firesafe. We're here at Brisbane for the uh, AFAC 2023. And standing in front of a Scania electric truck, we're gonna have a look. We're gonna go through how do we identify the truck, how do we immobilize the truck, and how do we isolate the high voltage on this vehicle. So as you approach one of these vehicles, important to have a look at the, what would be the registration plate. It's not here being a brand new truck, but if it was electric, you should see a blue triangle there. Walking away around this truck, you might even see some livery, uh, you may see some badging. Uh, there's nothing on this one being one of its first in the country, but we're gonna have a look down the sides. We have our battery packs instead of fuel tanks. We also don't have any exhaust as well. There's no air intake, uh, and you may see the high voltage orange cabling as well through the chassis. Sitting in the cab of the Scania electric truck, we can see the controls in front of us look exactly the same as all the other Scania trucks that are around. It's really important to make sure you identify the vehicle correctly and then go through and find the emergency response guide. Noting it's electric, we're not going to necessarily hear any operational sounds, so make sure we don't approach from directly in front or behind the vehicle. Approach from the sides. Make sure we chock the wheels, and then when we're able to, or with the driver's assistance, what we can do is make sure we apply the park brake and turn the ignition off. That's the first step for us to immobilize and isolate this vehicle. Looking at the battery packs, we have side saddle packs, and the operating voltage on this vehicle is 660 volts DC. We have also a battery pack and inverter where the engine would normally be sitting. We then have a drive motor further down through the chassis with a tail shaft to the single axle on this vehicle. For us to isolate the high voltage, there's also a switch here that operates on the low voltage side that we can switch off and we're able to apply a lockout tag out also. With the switch in the off position, you'll notice the cap sits proud as well. What happens when you isolate the high voltage batteries? The contact is in here, open up their circuits, contains the power just to these batteries within the housing here. We have the nine packs on the vehicle. Those nine packs then contain the electricity, making it much safer for us to work around. There shouldn't be any high voltage outside of the packs. That's a really quick look at the Scania 25P. Thank you for watching.